we're here um, because Margot Gray has really kind of reinvigorated um, the United Indian Nations of Oklahoma, truly so that we can unite, come together, because when we're together, we're a lot stronger than when we're separated. What we do, we do advocacy and policy on issues that are state issues and national issues impacting the 38 tribes here in the state of Oklahoma. When we stand up for Eagle Feather laws, where we stand up to protect the Indian Arts and Crafts Act, where we stand up to make sure that we have the right people in the room. I think all of us share the same issues. You know, in the boarding school, the gaming tobacco compact, but you know, if you're out there by your own, uh, what do you do? But if you come here, we can all work together. I've known Lorinda for a very long time and has just always been an advocate, a volunteer. If there's a message that needs to be carried, Lorinda's on it. She's at the Capitol. So you need to identify yourself as a constituent. You need to identify yourself as a voter. And I will tell you this, if you are not registered to vote, they will not listen to you because that's one of the first things they will check. We have to be involved. We have to let our voice be heard. And if we have the same message, we can get more accomplished. If you care about how your governments are run, and, um, and the relationship between the states and the tribal nations, then get involved, you know, come and get informed here. You know, I, I just think it's important that we continue to engage, stay involved. No one is a better advocate for us than our own people, and we need to be able to make sure that we're at the table having those discussions.